Hello. Hi, Sethi. Oh, hi, Mom. <laughs> it's your other, it's your Mary. It's my it's oh, the other oh, woman in your life. <laughs> yeah. The only other person who I let call me Sethi. <laughs> oh. Is it Sethi with an IE or with a Y? Uh, you know, it's with an IE. And there's a strange oh! thing that a lot of women seem to, like, have this thing where they want to call me Sethi. I don't mean, like, people I'm very close with. Just, you know, people who barely know me decide they want to call me Airline Sethi. attendants and yeah, exactly. waitresses. They, ha they take your credit card and go, okay, Sethi, that'll be $26. It might be um, because of the security blanket, but I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, why are you calling me again? <laughs> uh, uh, I'm calling you because we're calling Aubrey Graham, and uh, I'm a little amped, so... I, yeah, I gee. Feel like... <laughs> I can, not not like that I I'm not tell. normally amped just to talk to you. No, Aubrey No, Aubrey is like your good friend, right? You guys he's hang my, out. He's my pal. Right? He's my boy. All right, so yeah, so let's call Aubrey. We can talk to him. I, we can ask him about the soundtrack that he's on. Uh, we can ask. Yeah, him yeah, about he's got plenty of stuff. He, he, we will have no problem getting Aubrey Graham to talk. Yeah, he's. We can ask him about. He's on some uh, television show. Uh, it's got. Uh, it's. It's about some kids in Canada with. Yes. Well, anyway, he. I'm sure he knows what it's called. We can ask him yeah. about that. All right, let's call him. Awesome. Okay. You can say hello when he answers. Okay. Hello. Hey, Aubrey. Hello. Aubrey? Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. It's Mary. It's Mary from the end. Oh, hey. It's... How are you doing? What's <laughs> up? Sorry. I didn't mean to scare oh, you. Oh, hey, me. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I have been awesome. How have you been? I'm all right. I'm uh, just all right? Yeah, you know, tired, man. Working hard. Working hard trying to get this, uh, get this music thing finished up and... I don't know. A lot of things going on right now. I'm just tired right now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, you yeah, know, I mean, no, no disrespect to the other people on the end soundtrack, but I think your track kind of, it kind of blew them all away. Oh, no offense. Okay. I appreciate it. I appreciate <laughs> that. Yeah, no, it's, it's. I mean, it's, it's been great. It's been. I went from watching all these people, you know, do hip hop music in Toronto to like just, I mean. I don't know. It was it was weird. It was like this overnight respect from like people that I look up to, the guys that I look up to up here. You know, like that's you know, awesome. Overnight, yeah, it sort of switched really fast, and then, and it's great because they're hearing stuff like they're hearing stuff that I genuinely love to do. Like they're hearing new stuff, like you know, a song like songs I have with like Little Brother or Q-Tip or music music that genuinely like I'm excited. I'm excited to make. You know. Yeah. So, um, wait, did you say you did a song with you? Wait, I'm sorry. You you mentioned Q-Tip. Are are we talking Q-Tip? Yeah. The, you right, did a song with him? Yeah. Uh, well, right now I'm just finishing it up. I'm just getting his feature finished up right now. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, I've been doing a bunch of a bunch of stuff lately with a lot of people. So it's, it's been cool. I've been getting a lot of a lot of like you know indie love. Like yeah, we see you doing your thing. You know, you're not trying to a major, but let's just do some work and we'll work out the financial after. So that's been I just wanted to ask you about the song that you picked, or that, that's on the end soundtrack. Um, I mean, right. Did you pick that one yourself, or did you have a reason for picking that? It was just, I mean, it's it's a cool it's a cool sound because that's what I like to I like to do with a lot of my music is capture. Um, I like to I like to try at least to attempt to uh, to recapture different different sounds from different eras, just paying homage to like a lot of a lot of the older hip hop that. That I love, like you know, I mean, it's it's sort of it's sort of paying homage to Sucker MCs from Run DMC, and then like the the flow sort of like you know old the way rappers used to structure structure their their flows. It used to be different, you know. That nobody really switches up the way they say things, so I just picked a a different rhyme pattern. And I don't know. I mean, it's 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 cool. I'm glad they included it because it's an interesting song that that sort of lets people know that that I'm not just like. I didn't just tune in last year, you know, like yeah, I, my, yeah, totally. I, for, my first taste of hip hop wasn't like, you know, T.I., although I love T.I., I mean, don't get me wrong, you know, he's my favorite <laughs> hip hop artist, but, you know, I go, I did my research for sure before, before jumping into the, 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 um, the whole game, so it's a cool song to include, I'm, I'm really happy that they did, um, include that one, and I have, I have the clips, um, Pharrell's artist on a remix to that. Oh, awesome. So, yeah, I mean, it's cool. It was a cool um, uh, 
Are you going to be in New York next week for the party? I am going to be in New York in full effect. With bells on. Most chaos ever. <laughs> like, oh man, you don't even know what I have planned. I'm just gonna. Oh, I don't know if the end's gonna ever want to bring me to anything ever again. I might like back foot into the event on like a like a water slide or something. I don't know. I'm thinking. I'm, I'm just gonna do something crazy. Some crazy, awesome. crazy stuff. Oh my god, I can't <laughs> so I'm wait. Excited. I'm excited. Yeah. What are you gonna I'm wear? Excited. What am I gonna wear? Um, oh man, I've been I've been planning that all week. I, I'm sort of. Um, I, I actually went to a tailor for like the first time in my life and got some custom, excuse me, custom dress fear clothing, which is, um, which is going to be dope. Like, I, I don't know. I'm just going to, I'm going to try and, you know, switch up, switch it up. Cause I don't really dress up much. I'm more like a sweatpants and sandals and socks type of guy. <laughs> hey, how do you feel about Stacey Farber moving to New York? Are you going to miss her? I think it's great. I think, she, I, you know, I think it's great when people, um, move into like a completely new atmosphere i have a lot of you know i admire her for moving away i think it, it would be hard to find a new life somewhere and i think she'll do really well i mean stacy's a a really intelligent girl and she's sort of like she, she's definitely you know hip enough for new york she can handle new york i think in a in a, in a heartbeat so um it's great i would i miss her i you know what honestly i sad to say this maybe i shouldn't even say this on podcast but we <laughs> Me and Stacey just have not talked in the longest time, and now that I'm thinking about it, I definitely have to reconnect with Stacey when I get to New York. We haven't had a decent conversation in a really long time. We just been both both have been so busy, and I remember yeah. I was watching like some classic classic footage in LA, and I was like, "Geez, man, we used to be like the ultimate tag team, and now it's like we don't even really talk because you know, just growing up and 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 starting you start to take on new responsibilities and start to have to." take care of things yourself you get you know you get overwhelmed and i'm sure she's i'm sure she's she's definitely overwhelmed maybe not even in a bad way i'm sure she's just got a lot on her plate right now yeah yeah with the moon and everything but you gotta fix that honey you gotta you know know, make new friends but keep the old one is silver but the other's gold (laughs) yeah (laughs) i i definitely have to uh i definitely have to talk to her about that i'll address it when i get out there you know there's new york you know yeah, it's New York, you know, like, like I said, I'm going to do something crazy. You never know. <laughs> you never know. I don't know. Is there nudity involved? <laughs> Is there nudity involved? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Not public nudity. <laughs> Not public nudity. But, I mean, you know, like I said, it is New York. New York has some beautiful women, so. What I, I, happens and, and, and in New York? Me, well, you know, I don't know. What happens in New York really goes anywhere, so. It doesn't stay in New York to me. I'll bring it right on back to Toronto and talk about it for days. <laughs> <laughs> so, who's your latest? Who's the new Hollywood crush? Oh, the new Hollywood crush. I well now now that I'm getting a little closer to these uh, closer to my dreams, if you will. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I mean, I have some tasks. I have sort of a task list. If, if you put it uh, <laughs> gracefully. A to-do list, um, I, does it work? Yeah, a to-do, yeah, a to-do list, exactly. Um, Lauren London from ATL is on there, mm-hmm. for sure. Um, Kelly from Regis and Kelly is on there. <laughs> really? Yeah, for sure, for sure. I'm definitely... Um, uh, the well. ripper. But see, now it's embarrassing because now you might actually... You're going to like meet these people and you got you to gotta watch. you got to keep those cards close to your chest man no i can't you know what honestly i'm not i'm not scared i'm not i'm not scared to just say i you know i'll tell you it's funny because um when i said what i said about making good i got mm-hmm. so much like flack about it and then um, my music management put up like a, a bulletin because they felt like we had been contacted by somebody or some i don't know whatever something went down and they put up like some bulletin you know sort of like on my behalf uh just clearing the air and i was like whatever you know like i like i pride myself on being a genuine honest person i like being real and 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 whatever i say like whatever i say is real like i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna like i'm not gonna lie megan good is beautiful and i still think so and i always will and she's always gonna make my task list because (laughs) she's just 
she's sweet. Like she's 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 flawless. But I mean, right? I you were just telling like a that, true story. Like, like, what's wrong with yeah, telling exactly. a true story? Yeah, exactly. I was telling a true story, and people were like, "Oh man, you know, you hate her." And I don't. I think she. I think she, I. I mean, I don't know her enough to to say. I hate her or anything like that. Like I could never say that. It was like one time meeting her. All I all I really was saying was that I, because she was at one point a fantasy for me. Mm -hmm. I just wish that I just wish that I, I guess I saw her a certain way. And when I met her, it wasn't that way. But I mean that happens all the time. I'm sure people have. I'm sure people have thought I was a certain way and then met me and been like, oh, he's a goofball. Like, you know what I mean? He's not even right. cool at all. Like, he's a, he's a nerd. And then, and, and, and it sort of made them feel the same way. So, I mean, just, just, to, just to put that out there, because I know a lot of people are like, either like spoken on my behalf or whatnot. Like, first of all, I, I, I will always love Megan because she always has a special place in my heart. And yes, I did say love. And I can use that word. I don't throw that word around loosely. It's genuine love. And from the moment I saw you on Jet Jackson with your braces, it, we, it was a match made in heaven, in Philly cream cheese heaven. And so, I mean, you know, I'll just I'll always hold hold down Megan good. Always. I mean, when I, if she wants to call me, call me up. Yeah, she's listening. <laughs> I know. Of course she is. Who doesn't listen to the end podcast? Like everybody, everybody's tuned in. The world's tuned in. <laughs> All right, we have to ask you at least one Degrassi question before we let you go here. So, um, oh boy! All right, all right. Uh, so, well, I was going to ask you about season four and five because they're just went up for sale on iTunes, which is a really big deal. But I don't want to do that right. anymore. I want to talk about the new season. So, um, yes. So, yeah, tell us something, something good about season six. <laughs> tell us something people awesome. won't won't have heard before. Because everyone's awesome? been saying, that, you know, we've asked Cassie, we've asked Shane, we've asked. Um, um, I don't even remember Stephen. who else. And everyone just says, uh, says, yeah, Stefan just says, oh, it's great. It's great. You'll love it. It's great. It's the best season ever. And obviously we don't so, want you to say it's bad, but let's, let's, like... let's something that's, that's something else. Let's, uh, I want to hear something. Yeah, I'll tell you something else. Well, you know, I'll tell you, I'll tell you interesting experience I had this season. Is that, uh, adequate? Is that, yeah. Is that like a yeah, cool, yeah, yeah. cool thing? Okay. Um, I, I actually worked out like a whole bunch this season because, we came to the conclusion that after all this upper body use in this wheelchair that I would be, you know, um, sort of big, cut. I guess. Cut. Yeah, cut. But I mean, you know, I was in shape, but I, 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 I'm, a, I'm a studio rat. I'm in a studio late night, so, you know, we eat a lot of McDonald's and General Tao's chicken and whatnot. So I definitely need, you know, I hit the gym for like two straight months, every single day, energy drinks, and, um, so it was weird for me. I I took off my shirt for the first time on set this season. Oh my god! <laughs> and we should we we should say that that scene where you take your shirt off. I, I know I've seen this. Uh, Melissa McIntyre is also uh, half naked in that scene. It's a pretty good scene. You might want to catch that because Sweet. I mean, I I I it, I don't know. I know this is a podcast, but Melissa McIntyre is, is quite well endowed, if you will. <laughs> in that particular, uh, in that particular scene, and in life in general. You're, you're talking about her hair, right? Yeah, no, I was talking about the volume. She was well endowed in the, in the, uh, in the, in the Vidal Sassoon region. <laughs> uh, I mean, no, she, she, she looks really good. I was, um, it was a pleasure. It was a pleasure to be a part of that scene and, and have her um, warmly embrace my my entire body for hours on end as we rehearsed that scene. It was, it was pretty. It was a pretty riveting experience. Oh, Aubrey. <laughs> How have you been? How have you guys been? Is that is that? Can I ask a question on the podcast? Yeah, what sure. What have you guys been up to? What's what's been up in uh, in your lives? Uh, Good we're thing? going to this Degrassi party next week, so we're pretty stoked pretty, on that. Pretty live. It was pretty it was LIV. not easy for us to get in. I'll I'll have you know. But I'm just looking forward to seeing you and everybody. But me and you go back though, like yeah, way yeah, back. Totally. And you go way back. Ever. I remember I was like, I was an original, the Mary fan, like original, <laughs> original, like for sure. Like the first column, I was like, what? Yes, I'm hooked. Oh, I'm hooked. you flatterer. <laughs> All right. Well, so, so we'll see you like next week, dude. That's week it? From, a week from tonight. That's the whole, that's the whole thing? That's it, man. Yeah, we're man, done. Oh, sorry. nobody ever called me and asked me anything. I got excited. I thought we were doing like a four-hour we uh, documentary. Oh man, 
Next time we'll have we'll have Arbor Graham and Florax. We're gonna do like a live podcast thing from the party. So uh, we're gonna like oh, just, okay. I'm, we're gonna like, grab you. I'm sure we're gonna be going, like grabbing you and like making you uh, introducing you to screaming fans who are dying to meet you and things like that. So, yes. so be be prepared. That sounds like the plan of a lifetime. I'm excited. Awesome. All right. Yeah, well, I hope you guys have a great weekend. You too, man. You too, man. See you. All right. Bye. Bye. You know, I wasn't lying about live podcasting from the party. We really are going to do that. I know. I'm a little nervous. I hope it's going to – I hope we're not going to screw it up. But uh, yeah, Well, I, think... I mean, we'll manage to find a way to mess it up, but it, it, it will <laughs> mostly work. It will work well enough. You know, not I... quite live. It's like it's like it will be – you'll get sort of real-time updates – about what's going on, but we're not going to put like three hours of, of party right. It, in it'll be little segments that we'll we'll re we'll be there. We'll we record them. We'll put them up, and it'll be pretty much instantaneous. But you'll have to kind of sit there and hit refresh. We'll we'll explain it in the insider this week exactly how it's going to work. But we should say that you know usually the podcast goes up Saturday at midnight. This one's going to start early because the party starts at eight. We'll probably start with the podcasting. We'll even before that. So you know yeah we'll figure it out. But it's probably going to be more like seven ish Eastern. Sweet deal. All right. Anyway, I will see you next week. Yeah, in not person, just talk at the to ultimate you. Degrassi party. Where? This will be fun. Hey, what are you wearing? Oh, I have no idea. I I need to go shopping. Like I I looked in my closet and I hate everything. How are people there going to know it's you? They don't know what you look like. Um, some of them do, and uh, and other than that, I'm the one that's three apples high with black hair that looks old. <laughs> <laughs> and cute. <laughs> Don't be hard on yourself. I don't know about that. People will be able to recognize me, you know, how because I look exactly like my avatar. Yes. It's kind of it's frightening. It's true. It's kind of frightening, but it's true. I know. That plastic surgery you opted for, I think it's a little iffy. The gigantic eyes that take up half <laughs> <Yeah>. my face. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it'll catch on. I don't know. I don't know. They said I could have my money back if I didn't like it, but... <laughs> but you All can't right. have your face back, buddy. <laughs> They let me keep the original eyes. Oh, yeah, you have them in a jar. jar by your bed. <laughs> okay. All right, Mary. See you I'll next week. I'll see you week. next week. Okay, bye. Bye.